Good evening folks, Miami Beach Audits here. Tonight I'm going to show you what I have to put up with every night from G4S and every day as well. Their patrol uniforms today are the same as they were last night. They're, pa they're patrolling in groups of two or more. One is wearing a black, all black, with a baseball cap or a backpack, and the other one wearing a white t-shirt and blue shirt. Pants. Okay, now I'm at Starbucks. Here we have a G4S employee who followed me down Espinola Way and uh, through the cut over here. And now that and he sat down on the wall over there. And now that I'm sitting, I took my seat over here, 40 feet from where he was. He came walking over. Now Starbucks doesn't allow smoking on their property. You notice a cigarette in his hand. He's in uniform, he's wearing a, it's not all black, but it's mostly black jacket with the backpack and a baseball cap. And he parked himself right next to where I'm sitting, leaning on the railing, and is shouting into his phone in Creole. Unbelievable. Now, Starbucks has a line out the door. They're way over capacity inside. Well, the line's not out the door, but it's to the door. They're way over capacity inside. Their employees are swamped. And the manager's not here because it's Sunday. So they just have a shift supervisor. So if I go complain inside, they're going to tell me they're too busy to do anything about it, like they usually do when they're this busy. But this is getting out of hand. At least he got off the phone call. So I'll be able to hear to watch some videos or whatever. Or if I get a phone call. But he's still staying over here. And he's still smoking. He's back on the phone again. Made another call immediately after ending the first one. Guy, if you're going to shout into that phone, would you please get a little bit farther away from me? I can't hear. I got earbuds in and I can't hear the video I'm watching. Now, as that guy left, I had already cut off the phone. He said, Watch who you're fucking with. I'm FBI. He isn't, but he works for the FBI. No sooner did he leave than this guy came walking down the street and posted up right there. there. So I left Starbucks, came down to my spot on Washington, and I'm here less than two minutes. And now I've got one in a white shirt and blue shorts and the other one in all black, uh, even though they're women, posted up right here with their backs to me, blocking me out from talking to anybody who's walking by on the street. sooner did they leave and what these two and as soon as I start taking a picture they walk away they were there for a good five minutes because I was editing a video before I stopped editing the video to take their picture because they were standing right in front of me Here you see the police riding around announcing the curfew with the blue lights flashing. It's two minutes after eight. Back to us, talking to them. It's either a 
civilian or an undercover cop, and I don't know which. But he's not G4S, he's not in uniform. Okay, the cars, uh, the three of them, not the guy in the dress shirt, the other three in uniform were in the car. The guy in the dress shirt was walking down the street and started talking to him. They pulled up in that space as soon as it vacated, shortly after curfew, about 8.15, and they started blasting copyrighted music to try and stop me from filming, live streaming, whatever, without getting a strike. They're blasting the copyrighted music to try and stop me from filming or live streaming or whatever in order not to get the copyright strike. Now this has happened five nights in a row now. That as soon as that space vacated shortly after curfew, a car, it's been a different car every time, but the occupants have always been in the G4S uniforms and they have pulled up in front of me into that space right in front of where I'm standing and blasting and copyrighted music. If you were me, that was a Polaris Spitfire with two police officers in it. I was riding down the parking lane or the bicycle lane. Now, if you or me were blasting music like that, we'd have the cops on us in five minutes uh, after curfew. I mean, uh, you know, we would have the cops but over there harassing us. Four cop in cars seconds. have passed these guys. They've now been and almost a half hour. None of them had emergency lights on. They weren't on their way to the call. Four police, but none of them said anything to any of them. Passed by them, and other unmarked cars, I'm sure. And none of them slowed down to say anything. And none of them had emergency lights on either. So they obviously weren't on their way to a call. It's now 10.30 p.m. and as you can see there is still a fair amount of people in the street. You have a police car. See the flashing lights up there. There's one in each block. Just sitting there with the lights flashing. But they're not saying anything to anybody. They're not stopping anybody who's walking down the street or anything. You got one up there. And you got one up there. Now, there we go. And you can see the Christmas trees flashing on top of the cars. Anyway, I made a call to the police department to the non emergency number with my internet phone. And I told them that I'm working in Pizza Fiore and that we are still making delivery orders because that's legal. It's not a, a violation of the curfew order. We can be delivering 24. Just can't have the store open. And that I can't hear to take the delivery orders on the phone. And which by the way, uh, this car belongs to the manager of Pizza Fiore. They're still in there. And they're still taking the delivery orders, as you can see. And I didn't give them my name. And I said to them that I couldn't hear on the phone to take those delivery orders. But anyway, it took four minutes and 40 seconds after I hung up the phone, when those guys got in that car, shut the music, and drove away. Without the police coming, Without by. Any police coming by, 
Nobody came by and talked to them. So obviously they received a call or a text from the police telling them to get the F out of there. It's, it's too much coincidence. It's not a coincidence. You can see another G4S on the bicycle going by. It's Miami Beach audits. I'm out. I'll see you on the next one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification.